Athena tells me you spoke to Sarath. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarif spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Ooh, they're getting jumpy. So we're not trusting our leaders here. It is kind of funny that we're inevitably getting cornered in with, uh... Having behind the scenes discussions with the person that we're, we have the most friction with so far. Admittedly, a lot of it comes from him. Probably still keep talking to him that way. Oop, the story's updated. Police investigate break in at City Morgue. Detroit police are investigating a mysterious burglary at the Jefferson Drive Police Precinct. According to authorities, the assailant tampered with evidence, potentially hindering an ongoing investigation. Officials are promising a sweeping search for the culprit. The precinct will be shut down until a thorough inquest is completed. We consider this to be a very serious offense. We need to find out how the perpetrator got into the morgue. Sewers are of particular concern, though all of the emergency entrances are also being checked, says Ryan Penn. Chief of the Detroit Police Department. Jefferson Drive is the same facility where the bodies of those killed at Seraph Industries had been taken after the savage attack at company headquarters earlier this year. Downtown broadcast installation vandalized. Cable television and radio services were disrupted across Detroit city center this evening when a broadcast antenna located in gang control territory was shut down. Local police and Picus News, who own and maintain the broadcast installation, are investigating the incident. Let's make our way over to our next big location. Hello, friend. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Hang on a minute. We're not there yet. And I know it. You lied to me. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens. It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. We're here based on the advice of somebody who I kind of sort of was killing when they gave me this location. It's not the most promising thing in the world. And, uh, hey, so we have a double-decker city. First thing that comes to mind in that kind of situation is that I would... Can I go to the quest log from here? Oh, I was about to map it on my quest log, okay. Uh, oh, we have two left on augments. I should take a look through some of those first. Uh, but we have a double-decker city. The first thing that comes to mind there is that the uh, bottom layer probably has some pro uh, ups and downs. I would say that they probably have... A, an increased chance of uh, lung cancer and a reduced chance of skin cancer. Exposure to light, but poor, but poor ventilation due to literally having a roof. <laughs> but I wanted to add some more upgrades here. Let's put them on my pistol, because I, I, I am always a fan of using pistols in games, so I think I want to try to add stuff to that if I can. So for, in particular, we're going to add these uh, pistols to it. I mean the uh, reload speed upgrades. Because they're taking up space. And pistols make me feel comfortable. 
This other one up here is special upgrade pistol armor penetration system. Okay. That narrows it down pretty quickly. It can go on that one. Whoa. And now my pistol's over here. That's fine. So if we examine it now, we can see there's two green bars where the reload speed has been increased. And we now have an armor penetration system, which is the bottom one there out of those three armor... There's three upgrades on the left over there. I can still get it a laser targeting system, I think that says. It's really hard to read because of how small it is. And a silencer. Along with a ton of upgrades to ammo capacity, damage output, reload speed, and rate of fire. So that's where I put those things. I don't think I can put this guy on anything yet. Nope. Not at the moment. But at least the options are there. So that'll, that helps me with my, uh, a bit of my, uh, use of space here. How does moving work around here? Can I, let's see, can I rotate it? Uh, A. There we go. That's how you move it around. Okay, good to know. Oh, here's a laser, laser targeting system hiding down here. Alright, I was in the middle of re reorganizing my inventory and I saw it hiding there. So now the pistol has laser targeting and reload speed along with a bit of, uh, sorry, armor piercing and, and uh, laser targeting along with two points of reload speed. That'll help us out. So I've got a few points to spend, and there's a few things I want to spend them on. In particular, I'd like to go for the, I'd like to start my jump enhance- I mean, not my jump my uh, leg enhancements in general, which would make you have high jumps, let you run faster, let you do various movements without making any noise. All good for stealth. But, cloaking system could really help me too. So I think I want to go for that in particular, to start things off. So this will give me the ability to cloak. In order to process the EEM patterns of the local environment on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, the glass shield cloaking system utilizes a neural link in the user's brain, which drains bioenergy. When first implanted with it, users can operate their cloak normally for a period of about three seconds per energy spell expended. So, for, for each little battery I have, I can turn invisible for three seconds, which is all I might need to get around a corner at the right moment when I'm really in trouble in certain situations. It goes up, it reduces the, you can reduce the power consumption for higher duration as you get more and more upgrades from that point on for another two points. But I think after that first point, I think I'm more interested in getting in, invested in the uh, leg related powers first. That said, don't necessarily know how to turn invisible. <laughs> what if there's controls around here? Nope, oh, cloaking is up on the D-pad. That actually clar clarifies it pretty well. Ooh, left is move silently. That's important to know. So if I'm crouching around... Left. 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 Okay, left on the D-pad's doing nothing. But oh yeah, look, you can see a little D-pad on the right side of the screen. That does show which one's cloaking. To add context to that. So just to recap while, why we're here. Before he died, Barrett gave us an address. Hengsha Court Gardens, Penthouse Apartment. It's in the Yozhao District of Lower Hengsha. I won't know if it's a trap or someone worth talking to until I get inside and find out who lives there. So it is the weakest of leads ever. You guys friendly? Because I don't see a lot of stealth opportunities around here. Yeah, it's, we're just in, the, in a public city right now, so I shouldn't have to worry too much. Look at these details in the environment here. Look at that single thing. Ooh, ramen. The funny thing is knowing how video games are made... I can pretty much, I pretty much can guarantee that these super low poly things I'm not supposed to look at too closely. Those are probably actual pictures of actual ramen they found on the internet. Oh, look at that! You can see the sides of it. I don't think the back, this back size might be the same thing repeating. I think I've seen that package in the store actually. Because <laughs> I live near a Korean market. Where they, an international market that just sells a whole bunch of things. But the Korean part specifically is the part that stands out. And yeah, this, these are almost certainly the packages of real products that just exist in the real world. That happens a lot. Even Dark Souls 2 had some some details like that, where in Dark Souls 2, they famously had like a car tire and stuff like that just sitting in the in the garbage, and it looked it just looked strange. But it was supposed to be a ba little background detail no one was supposed to look at directly. So they just looked up garbage and was like, "That's going to be how we display this information." I may have gone the wrong way. This seemed like it was going. I think the sign said the name of the place I was trying to go to. No, we're on the right path, I think. Let's review. Hello, map. Alright, our goal... is... elsewhere. Where are you at? Where is my goal, actually? Seems like I might be over here. 
Judging by the X being on this on this floor. Oh, here we go. Yeah. We're going by that metro station location to the north. Just need to make my way over there, possibly by changing floors, because right now we don't have the best access, perhaps. In fact, I'm going to say we probably went the wrong way. Nothing here seems to be connected. But this place is going to be interesting to navigate. All right, let's be smart about this. So, we're going to want to head downstairs, I'm sure. Right over to there. I figure I'll show all this because it's uh, it's us exploring a brand new environment, right? You too. Nice to see you today. Yes, it is sunny outside, and I feel like I'm not part of any sort of regime. I feel extra safe here. I belong here, and I was born here, and I'm definitely not an outsider. Do not pay close attention to any part of me that would give that away, such as all of them. Here we go. I think I blended pretty well. Not a single person is onto me. You're welcome, America. Oh, here we go. There's a hub of a little floor light that guides me where I'm going. Like at an airport or a hospital. Or really just a hospital. No more of that. I wonder if any of these are stores I can use. Teddy bears! No, nope, they seem to be mostly food markets and stuff like that. You could probably sneak into their back rooms and, and nab things if you're a monster, but that's about it. That's about all I'd expect to have happen there. I'm actually getting back into some of those vibes from playing uh, Shadowrun Hong Kong. Where you just have this nice little detailed market area to walk through. I don't care what kind of operation is going on. Now let me in immediately. Can't oblige you, ma'am. Now move along, please. How dare you? Who are you to tell me I can't get into my own home? Do you know how much money I pay for this place? I said move along before there's trouble. You bell tower assholes are all the same. You don't have an answer to an honest question, so you start to threaten. Well, you don't seem like you're really the type of person that should be around here. Sorry, pal. No one's allowed in right now. I heard you, but I didn't hear you. Bye. <laughs> he didn't stop me at all. Bell Tower is conducting an investigation in this building, sir. No admittance. That's what you say, and I believe you. You might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese. I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. Don't worry, no one will suspect a thing. I, I can turn invisible now, right? How could I mess that up? Q messing that up in three, two, one. Seriously, can I make that map any bigger, please? <laughs> I just want that little map in the corner to be so much bigger on the screen. I really should look into mods for that kind of stuff. That said, I said the same thing about uh, health bars in XCOM 2, and I never did it. At all. No one seems to be looking my way right now. Careful. That Dutchman is no dope. He got into this panic room. He couldn't decrypt the computer code. Must have something. You see anything? No. See anything? Nope. 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 I really thought I was on my way to something there. I don't think this goes very well for me. That's a, not a happy grenade at all. I would call that an unhappy grenade. Ow, wait, what's hitting me now? Oh, they have guys got. Oh, I'm super screwed. They have guys upstairs, too. Haha. <laughs> was not expecting the guys upstairs. That, one, that part was a surprise. All right, I blew that very abruptly. Well, this could be a nice alternative. When you're on your way in, like over there and around the corner is where I'm supposed to go. When you're on your way in, Get a nice ladder. This probably gets me to roughly where that guy on the roof was, but hey, being high is good. The higher you are, the fewer people that can spot you most of the time. That's what I was jumping about, about my first approach was that I had to try to approach. Give them one warning. If they ignore you, start shooting. We can't risk infiltration. Do I give one warning in English? What kind of question is that? Whatever the fuck language you want. I can't speak Mandarin. What if they don't understand me? 
Everyone understands the universal sign language of the system. Trust me, they can't point sign. That's rough. But if they understand me, I guess they're dead then. Ha ha ha. But yeah, the uh the first approach was a little rough, because I was approaching from that kind of perspective. Uh, where I was below everything and trying to go up a staircase with no cover. That wasn't the most helpful thing in the world. Uh, where do you lead me to? No code? Probably not too hard to get into. Nope, not at all. I would say. Alright. Keep wanting to start there for no reason. Supposedly if I go straight to the en uh, enemy base, we actually get bonuses that way. The 60%. 80%. Is there any reason to prioritize the one on the right? I see no reason. Let's see if I can just take out their enemy base for once, because I never really do that. Be mine. Access cool. Granted. Plus one stop and nuke. That was comical. Because you get all the bonuses throughout the everything. What's in here? An alternate way inside. I just realized I never walked up to the front gate in this playthrough because of the fact that I died. So technically, my character doesn't know that uh, I can't go in. Maybe the game- hopefully the game will figure that out. Hopefully it'll figure out to correct my goal as we go along. Otherwise, this is going to be very interesting. Anyone around? There's some ladders. Let's review my goal just to see if it got updated at all. Nope. Eh, I'm already going inside. My goal is to go inside, ultimately. The little update of, like, they're not letting people in the front door shouldn't matter too much. Ooh! Can I climb that? Not only can I, I think I might be mandatory, unless I can do this. Oh, I might be able to do this, actually. Yep, that was, n that was no big deal. I thought I had to be all clever and, and uh, get on top of the elevator as it goes up and down. So that's my goal right there. Ah, uh, there might be a way to go on the elevator still. I don't know. If I got the jumping upgrade, I could jump up there. You can jump, I believe, nine meters if you have the jumping upgrade. Oh, wait. I can probably use this. Nope. Oh, not quite. Aha! Nope. Maybe not. Let's check what's in here, just to see where it goes. Maybe a second box I can stack. Like a sick pro. Uh, there's a lot of arrows on the map, but they don't seem super close to where I am. Can't even see those guys. There seems to be someone over there. Hello, vending machines. Ah, uh, taunting me. I'm not strong enough to open to move a vending machine. That's one of the other upgrades. If I were strong enough, I could go sneaking through that vent, and it would take me somewhere. Ooh, ceiling vent. Hackable location, perhaps, or just a door that opens. Uh, we seem to be in the clear right now. Alright. Absolutely I want ammo. Especially if they're going to throw bosses at me. Because those bosses do not play nice. Is this the actual... I think this is actually the apartment. I think I found my way into the exact room. Alright, hopefully this doesn't end too poorly for me. Not a terrible place to just... throw in a quick new save. Have we succeeded? Ooh, oh, we're the next one over. Over there is my destination. Can I go on the balcony? I don't think I can. Just be sneaky. This is a bathroom. This is all a dead end, isn't it? This was all a mistake. This is all a tragic mistake, but it's a good thing I saved first. Now I can reload my save and the game never has to know. But they- but you'll know. <laughs> Always still clear? Please? Yes? Oh, that's so perfect. Now that I know that where I'm going, that's extra perfect. That location of that vent clearly takes me exactly where I'm trying to go. Who's holding up the damn elevator? No idea, sir. Well, you better find out. Who's talking? That elevator has to be free at all times. Our specialist needs to get up here and break into this computer ASAP. Acknowledged, sir. Are they going to come over here? I think they're right around the corner is why I didn't see them before. They might patrol straight towards me. Can I... I wonder if I can get in that ceiling vent. I probably need the, the, the high jump. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Shit. Give up. Huh? That's not a trig. That's not a stun gun. I'm a monster. Uh, whoopsie. I meant to have a stun gun equipped, and I made a mistake. And now I've murdered a fool. <laughs> oh, wait. I think there was somebody else behind me. Well, initial experimentation with uh, teleportation. I mean, with uh, with invisibility. <laughs> uh, partially successful. Oh, yeah. Just to be clear, the direction I'm going in. Uh, I absolutely have to get over there, which I could kind of see through the window, like I said before. And there does not appear to be any other floors attaching to this place. And there does not appear to be any other... Yeah, there's no particular way in besides that, that vent would have gotten me and I'm sure if I could get to it. But I don't think I can increase my strength, unless that's one of the drugs that I have. It's like, strength drug of strength. Uh, ceiling vent might be useful, but I think that might ultimately just be attached to the a higher zone. I don't think it'll get me out. I think it's just another way in. Uh, this is too heavy. Why is everything too heavy? Right here are some of the other upgrades that people have mentioned before. I thought I went through all of the upgrades in the entire thing, but I think I missed uh, synthetic arm prosthesis, uh, prosthesis, which has a few things here. Main thing is the uh, the ability to act, uh, pick up all heavier objects. Probably gonna want to put a point into that because it seems really handy. I'm clearly wanting to do it on a regular basis. And here's the ability to just punch through an actual wall. Uh, sometimes you might have use for that. Until then, I get to just look at this and be sad, I guess. Which happens, I guess. Although part of me can't help but wonder if I could use an explosive. Let's see. Why not experiment, right? I'm all about the experimentation. Don't tell let anybody tell you that I'm not. Right. Equip. I'm gonna throw a frag grenade. Let's close the vent real quick. I just saved, it'll be fine. That didn't work at all. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that now. So I'm waiting for these guards now. Uh, made a little too much noise in the hallway. It's the same two guards. I meant the vent that gave me access to this floor in the first place. They made a little noise. Maybe they'll... Oh, they got bored. Ah, Poor guys got bored? Alright. Well, these are the two guards I'm talking about. Who's holding up the damn elevator? So if I get lucky, I might be able to sneak up on them and surprise them. If I'm lucky, which I'm so good at being. Boop. Shush. Quiet. No one ever needs to know. Is, is the guy gone? Alright. Let's go ahead and grab his everything. Just gonna move him down here. No one will ever suspect a thing. Can I, oh, I, can go, I can go way faster by just moving normal, by standing up. Uh, Alright, I deem this the body dumping apartment. Of body dumping. Can I put him in this, uh, in the shower? So it looks like he's just like really... Oh, this is a nice place to leave a body. There you go. You live there now. He looks tuckered out. Poor guy. Alright, other guy won't be discovering that body. Oh my god. Are they gonna keep coming? Are they going to the elevator? Um... Was not expecting double guards to show up all of a sudden. Are they coming in here? Let's watch that door on that map. Oh, you fuckers. Sneaky time. Like I said, they'll never suspect a thing, damn it. They are thorough. Congrats. This door hasn't opened yet. Where'd the extra guards come from? I wonder if they're just hanging out in here as part of the security detail? Just chillaxing? Where'd they go? They might be in the kitchen, I can't quite tell. Nope, they just left. 
They're just chilling out, having just checking things around. Where you at? Oh, there he goes. If I'm careful, I can probably sneak up on him and just not have him in the way anymore. My pistol now. And haha. -ha. There we go. Good old credit chips. I'm being rewarded for my violence. Video games are horrible. How dare they? Somebody call Fox News. This guy has spectacular shoes. I'm going to be taking them with me now. Nope, sorry. I heard the thump. I'm sure it's fine. His friend's in the bathroom, he's in the bed. It's just a regular guy's night out. Which is why his, le that's why his legs are so flexible. <laughs> uh, here we go. Yes. You live there now. See? Graceful. That's how- that's, that's what he wanted. That's what everyone wanted. Okay. Well, at least this hallway is clear. <laughs> I like, took out the two dudes. Unless somebody else is here to surprise me. It seemed like there was suddenly a patrol of two guys. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah. I can probably get past him though. Or he'll just stand there forever. Alright. Here he comes. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Okay, there goes my energy. Oh god. There, more guards confirmed. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't spot me around the corner. Uh-oh. Or this guy. No. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yes. That's exactly what I was hoping you would do. Thank you. Ooh. Look at this room. They had a, they had a party in here. Fantastic time. That's going the wrong way. Oh, uh, maybe that's how I get back out the front. Oh. So what's the deal over here? It's all fiery. Am I safe from being detected in here? Ooh, stop it, worm. Stop it, worm. Nuke virus. Oh, if somebody turned around, they might have spotted me there. Don't see anything else here besides the computer. So far. A lot of post-it notes in the server room. Why would you write binary? That's a troll face. I'm ashamed of this game now. Call mom. More troll faces. Fix kitchen. And more binary. Who creates binary? Also, he, this guy needs to fix his kitchen a lot, because he just keeps writing it to himself. Unfortunately, mom died. It's very tragic. No code this time. I gotta remember that the codes for computers are on the top left, and the codes for uh, numpads are on the far right. I was noticing the ones on the right, so when nothing shows up on the right for a computer, I was assuming I didn't have the password. But I had passwords a few times. I apologize. I was just stupid. Oh my goodness, this one's complicated looking. I don't think I can go counter the wave, can I? So I don't think I can take their their origins point. Uh, point. Detection's 80%. That's high. That seems like it'd be bad for me. That's 422. Two. This is... 3232. That's uh, 3122. Two. Uh, looks like it's 3 no matter where I go, but that, that side is... 122 two, and this side is 132. Two. So I guess left would be faster. Technically, although I believe using spam would give me an advantage of some kind. Uh, decreases diagnostic subroutines rating by one. And the diagnostic is... There's a few details I forget about with some of the stuff. I'm just going to focus on succeeding real quick, alright? Alright. So I'm going to nuke this one, because it's rank three, which gives me a high chance of being detected. But I can potentially get away a little faster with the other, the other paths. And now I'm going to go really fast. There we go. He has not caught me yet. It's a surprise. Oh well. Here we go. Access granted. Reward downloads complete. A few other things happened. API node activated. Yeah. Alright. Now let's learn things. Let's learn all the things. Okay. Phoenix Instant Messaging Autosave. This conversation was automatically saved in your history. Uh, conversation history. Win uh, windmill. I have mastered you there. Pick up, pick up, pick up, please. I have master. 
Mr. Van Bruggen. This is a surprise. No time for chit-chat. Job offer still good? Depends. What you do, Airy. What I'm paid to do. Only this time, clients aren't happy. She nev er is. So you'll arrange with with Hong Kong. Might take some time. Do it. What the fuck you do, Windmill? Never seen Durgan Lady in this this pissed off. BT's hunting your way. Safety's off. Suggest you get out now. Hell of a the fuck ty who types that way. Uh, the official Hive newsletter for Hive VIPs only. This Saturday, the Hive will be celebrating 15 years in Lower Hangsheng. Come join us to celebrate with All Night Bash. Free champagne 7 to 10, Tuesdays, uh, Lady Ang Night, Thursdays, check out International Superstar. Fridays, Radical chi uh, Chic Night, Cheek Night, I mean, Chic Night? Yeah. The theme that started it all. Come dressed as your favorite freedom fighter or political dissident and you could win a trip to the mainland's most luxurious spa, Yangtze Breeze. Hope to see you at the Hive. Hopefully one of these was the information we're looking for, because that seems to be all we got. Get word to Pritchard, Malik. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? Yeah. Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. Thought I'd take a quick look around for stuff I might be able to sell. Ooh, upgrade. Let's just get that priority out of the way real quick. I've been wanting to spend a point on this. There we go. It's obviously going to let me move through late, uh, bigger paths over time, so... Being able to move larger objects is going to make me happy. Let me take a quick look around. Painkillers. Oh, what's that? Oh, a stop. So many worms. Also, this is way too much dry cleaning. You disgust me. Alright, let's get out of here. No one will suspect the thing, especially without those open doors. That's not- that's- the wind did it. The wind. Inside this skyscraper. Or whatever, it's not a skyscraper. We're like on the sixth floor or something. Why are you already open? Oh! You're the vending machine. Ta-da! That's where that goes. So this, yeah, it absolutely led exactly where I was trying to go. That would have been the shortcut that would have involved zero stealth to do, so... It'll be good to have additional paths open. Where does this go to? It's some kind of additional location. Got a beer? Where am I right now? It's an absolute mess, but aside from that, it's 7.03 p.m. Woohoo! 7.03 p.m. in Shanghai. Oh, it's the other door. Good to know. You guys go on being you. I'm gonna get out of here now. Here we go. For some reason, I'm extra protective about vents specifically. I'm like, no, they have to be closed behind me. No one can know my secret, which is that I'm really... I know exactly how to get around these vents. Here we go. Take the elevator. Do you know who I am? Oh, wait, do I have to take the elevator? You seem to be implying I have to, because the waypoint's, like, right on top of you. No, I just have to go down. I'm not taking the elevator, are you crazy? That's how you get caught. I'm not, I'm not gonna get caught. Especially not after all those other times where I definitely got caught already. <laughs> We're just gonna disregard those, you know? Those didn't happen, because, uh, I decide what's canon around here. I still don't have the super jump, though, so I can't get up there. Oh, there's another vent up there. I'm all the more interested now. But I don't think I can trick the... I don't think I'll be jumping that high anytime soon. Unless I can perfectly balance you on this rail. Which might be possible. In fact, it appears to be very possible. Please don't die, me. Huh? Not quite? Can't grab- can't like grab on or something? Oh! Alright. Let's just go down. It's fine. It's fine. I was just embarrassing myself for funsies. 